Okay, here we have the flash data. It's in the table form, and I've made fairly large uh, boxes here so that you can see uh, the data. It's um, Some of it's quite long, and I'll probably resize this even further. Um, but you can see that some of these things are just telling you what to do, how to, examples of um, doing different things in Groovy, whatever. And um, I don't have very much functionality here, but you can see that now I have the ability to choose this. I'm going to choose that. And we'll go to the form. Um, we can go to the next record here. That's obviously not working. Um, and, uh, excuse me, and we'll go back to the table. Okay, some of it's not working. Um, let's try that. Oh, there it goes. Just uh, a little bit slow. All right now, one of the problems with this is is that the backing beam uh, scope is, I believe, request or backing beam. And if I make a small change and then press commit, well, what happens is that it just goes back. Um, so we need to make the page flow scope or make the uh, backing beam um, on a larger pay, page flow scope. So what we do is we go over to the manage beam on the ADFC config XML. And you can see that now the backing beam, and I like page flow for this particular uh, example. Um, so now, if I run this little application again, run, and here you can see that the application isn't working. And that's actually to be expected because um, the backing beam scope is no longer in use. So um, don't pay too much attention to all this, but it's the first line or so that will actually give you some reasonable information into why your failure, why your app failed. And, and the real reason is is that on our main JSP, if we click on to here, you can see that this is backing beam scope. Well, we've set it to what was it? Page flow scope. So we need to go in here and check in. There it is. Hey, now we're doing the flash table. So we're going to click on flash table. And um, I'm just going to copy this for the other table here. Save it by clicking out. Again, we're going to click on here and do method expression builder and this time we're going to do flash form save it I uh, should have done this earlier and run it again and isn't that beautiful? Well, it failed again. And uh, again, obviously, there's some other reference to the main backing bean. And in fact, I found it in my main page def file, where um, I came over here and did main page def file and opened it up, and there it is. So um, we need to fix that also. So we go over to overview. I think this is probably the easiest way. You can see that it's selected already. And uh, there you can see that we have that. We'll click over to here and do the expression builder. And um, that is a little bit more than we wanted. It usually just erases it. And now let's hope we've removed all hard coding of that particular issue in the form. And we'll run it yet yeah, one more time. Now, isn't that beautiful? So you can see, we now have our form, and uh, I don't need to click on that, obviously. So these work. Okay, that one worked. This one, well, let's go back to the table. There it goes. So it just took a second for it to instantiate. All right, so uh, <clears throat> one of the next things that we will want to do is, is when we press form, 
the form button will no longer be visible. And we'll do that in our next video. Thank you. I hope this was informative. Have a good evening.